Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion plays Dead Cells until he dies on the boss. We are going to grab the Blood Sword 1, we are going to grab the Ice Bow 1, and then we're going to be good to go. Last episode, I went in with confidence, and I was struck down in my prime. As always, we were like basically going to destroy the boss, and then it all fell apart. Uh, what it meant to be, or what it meant to me, will eventually be a memory of a time when I tried so hard, etc., etc. Ruka, though, you can't um, be, like, you can be on my lap if you want to be on my lap, but the thing is, you can't be walking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas Hariha. We already have this, right? It's exactly the same weapon. Two blood swords? No thank you, sir. That strikes me as absurd. 3,000 gold for that heart. You know what? Pay attention to teleporters. There might be a more compelling case to make there than you would originally think. Uh, the most of the advice that I got from Twitter was unlock the rapier. And if we get that, apparently it's a really, really fun style of gameplay. I have not seen the blueprint yet. That doesn't mean that we won't see it this time, and it doesn't certainly mean that it doesn't exist. Maybe... Best option is just cranking out as much uh, damage as we can do. So that's what people have been telling us. Maybe they're right. We obviously don't want to go to the toxic sewers. Instead, we want to. What are you doing? Are you crazy cat? Would you? Oh, you want to exit so you can eat some food? All right, be my guest because you're a cute boy. All right, there we go. Just try it, dude. You see, you're like a weird little zombie. I've got a bow that shoots icicles. You stand no chance. So I'm gonna endeavor... Spend as much time as possible on this floor. And I wanna get, um, I mean, to be honest, you getting a health scroll for a thousand? Strikes me as a pretty good deal. Now we should have established by this point that I basically have no idea um, what I'm talking about when it comes to, you know, valuing things in this game. But still, that strikes me as a decent deal. We also get plus 5% damage out of that. Um, first things first, though, I want to get that heart that's going to cost us 3,000. If we can get them all... Are you serious right now? If we can get them all, even better. So there's 3,000. We'll look for our next teleporter. There it is. This should be... Uh, it's a shop. Okay. Let's teleport to... Uh, Teleport? Let's teleport to Igdar Oris Leo. I don't know what that means, but 3,000 gold is expensive and we have exactly enough, so let's give it a try. Saves your life once. Oh, that's right. Now I remember. I had this on the NLSS once. Saved me. Dude, maybe this is what we need to get through the boss fight. <laughs> now we're looking for 1,000 gold. If we can get a thousand gold and buy a health scroll, I actually think that's really worthwhile. I also think we are coming close to the... Yeah, this is our exit. Oh no, it's our item room, but probably close to our exit nonetheless. Damage bonus that fires a volley of arrows. Count me in. And we're done. And like, I don't know why I healed there, but we are like done done. There's nothing else there. We hit exactly 3,000 gold. Who knows how valuable that'll prove to be, but... 250 to get our fourth heal there. So, what can we unlock here? We can work towards, well, get the fire grenade. And then, we need that anyway. We could use the shield, or sorry, the, the secondary. And then, you know, work towards magnetic grenade as well. Swap out. Swap out our regular grenade there. Of course, we'll heal up here. This has to be the one, right? Like, I've come so close to beating the boss so many times. I need something to counter the jump attack. And honestly, maybe a shield is what we need. Because these areas... I'm not going to say we never die on them, but like... Okay, that's good. <laughs> good start. We rarely do die on them, though. So let's see. Oh, dude, the fire grenade. How many things have we had that are like... Do extra damage against enemies that... Uh, are on fire. I think we've had several is the answer to that question. A 
And now we can light an enemy up, which actually means, like, our flammable sword has, like, a reason to exist. Oh, I didn't even see it. Definitely use the rune. I'm ready. We've got abilities here that could give us an advantage. 1 minute 20. <laughs> Not the smoothest exit there. Let's go. First one's been handled. Easy money. No! <laughs> oh, we're getting there. I can feel it. This is the one, man. This is the one. Money well spent as Oh, you gave me a carrot right after I healed. That's just an insult to injury at this point. One of these days, dude, that challenge is going to be the easiest thing in the world. We're going to have all the tools we need to succeed forever. 1,200 to open this strength. Absolutely. I gotta start using the teleporters more often. This is the perfect run in which to learn how to do that productively. There's a free scroll as well. This one's anything. I want strength, but I'm gonna take health. I think having at least one health upgrade is non-negotiable. That was pretty bad. We're trying to get to 1,000 or 1,200. I can't remember. We should be able to hit either. That was pretty bad as well, but we're doing fine. I gotta be honest, like... The fire grenade, at present, not altogether that good. But I think that's... More a product of it just being, like, a bad version of the fire grenade. So he's gonna teleport to us. We should accept this. This might be the ideal elite enemy for us to fight. He's done it. He's done it. Probably fake. Damage taken reduced by 10%? Nah, not necessary. Okay, so we're looking for the next teleporter. Then we go back and buy the strength. 1,200. Easy money, dude. How recently? How recently? I don't want to know. Three minutes. Okay, so we weren't even close. That's fine. There's also a carrot back here that we can go back and get. And should go back and get. It was 1,200. More strength. Okay. You know it. You're saying, my god, this guy's got the fundamentals down now. He's actually backtracking in a video game. That's how you know it's bested him. And you're not wrong. But that's very impolite. <laughs> we don't want the ice amulet because we come back to life after we die once already. What we do want to do is save that uh, respawn. Until it's absolutely necessary. Preferably at least to get past the first boss. It's bear trap plus one to our skills. I don't know, I can't, I mean, okay, I'm gonna, plus one skills is pretty good, and, uh, I mean, I don't know if it's pretty good, but it's a nice passive benefit anyway, um, and I gotta be honest, the fire grenade hasn't really sold me, uh, on the merits of it just existing, at least. Don't try to take a swing at me, mister. Wonder if we could do uh, damage buff and then aggressively use the bow and arrow. I mean, it's primarily for control right now, and it's honestly not even great at that because it takes forever to shoot. So, this is just old sewers, I'm assuming. So, let's bounce. One day we'll go down there. I think that's where you get the statue rub. We're not at the statue rub yet. But I 
we should fight this guy first because we can. You sold your friend out and you left him in a freaking bear trap, you idiot. Okay. No, there's another little gem there. Dude, that was worth three. What's that you got there? A nice precious emerald? Hmm, I'll give you three for it. Three what? Did I stutter? I'll give you three. It's gotta be mildly cautious. This the bear trap's not too good against the phasers, huh? Grenade two? Eh. Gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda digging the existence of the bear trap. I wanted to do that as elegantly as possible. So this is our exit to the ramparts. 22 cells with 445 gold. And I don't love our build right now. The blood sword level, you know, negative five, it's okay. We're gonna get a magnet grenade if we want here. We could also get a meat grinder. Let's go for the meat grinder. Just because it's further away. Is there anything else we haven't unlocked? Yeah, we still have to get the force shield. We got like half. Oh, and the spiteful sword. That's right. My bad. Um, okay, let's take meat grinder two. I'm gonna take that over this. And the reason is I'm gonna try to prioritize. Uh, and this could be foolish, but it's at least a novel strategy for me. Prioritize the items that give us passive upgrades. I'm starting to, you know, 41 health is a 41% improvement in our starting HP. And that's what you get from one level up from health. It's really good. That's a huge relative boost. So what's the problem with our with our run right now? Um, well, I don't like our ability to kill flying enemies right now. Okay, I see. So there's a mild synergy in a couple of different ways here. Freeze the enemy, or slow the enemy, and then throw them onto the meat grinder. I see. We haven't gotten too many secrets here. Need some scrolls. Which are not secrets, but... I want them anyway. Um, does it hurt me? Not at all. That's great news. So, like... Easiest money I've ever made in my life right there. It also interrupts the enemy like the entire time they're standing on it. And the cooldown is like zero, so... Honestly... I think we've entered a new era. So this is a skills upgrade. Getting a little ridiculous. Uh, three of those is probably more than I need right now relative to the other options. That was pretty silly on my part, but it's like a carbon copy of our last, uh... Our last situation down here. Um, anyway, the, the last room we had, I should say. The last encounter we had, I should say. We should, um... Be a little better about using the bear trap. Like, the ice bow is a long distance... Oh my god, it's another skills upgrade. The ice bow is a long distance initiator, seems pretty smart. Basically, I hate this. Now you can't stop me. Now that I'm in, like a freaking cockroach, man. Come get a taste. The shield man outsmarted me? Wouldn't be the first time, I suppose. Okay, first heal down. Just keep an eye on that. Probably a wasted bear trap. That's solid, though. Oh, he's beginning to boogly. I don't know what happens when you get a flying enemy caught in a bear trap, but I can't imagine it's good for its self-esteem, he says as he gets bodied by one.
Get bled. Okay. I hate those guys. I had no idea there was a secret there. Lucky me. A little quick on the draw there. First time anyone's ever said that about me. Ooh, free carrot. Full HP. High voltage! Full HP. Okay, we've got a, a scroll of our choice. I would love damage, but I do think you got to respect the value of HP in our present times. Wow. Speaking of which. Misplayed to the extreme. Don't really have like a, a high potency run here. I think against single targets, we got ridiculous lockdown. Especially considering I can use uh, the saw trap like once every 2.3 seconds. It's like a strictly better bear trap. Plus one health instead of plus one skills. And fires a volley of arrows. No, wait, the other one doesn't even fire a volley of arrows, so, yeah. 280 HP is where I want to be, but I guess I'm already there. I'm feeling like, I don't want to say this is the run. Because then I got to do, you know, the meme rap. I am the one, the one you know. I don't know the rest of the lyrics because I'm 100 years old in the internet era. You know what I mean. Thought maybe we could be more creative with that one. Mm, no need though. Please, just a, a better weapon. Shouldn't have played chicken from there. Ooh, that's a knife storm. Shots pierce the first target, damage plus 20%. I don't think that's that good. Mostly because I, I hate that, which I do not understand. What is happening here? If I died against those, I never would have forgiven myself. Still slowed. Still slowed. Get bear trapped. Okay. How do you get to that? You gotta rub the statue. I don't even want the blood shield, but yet I find myself desirous of it. 867 gold. Probably not going to be enough to buy what we want here. Knife Storm 3, Blood Shield 3. I mean, I might be underrating Knife Shield. Sorry, Knife Storm. But. Got like a lot of new stuff that I'm trying to make work here. Aggro. And then, Bear Trap. For the, for the arrow volley. Somehow, it's working. That's not that bad. Damage buffer fires a volley of arrows and is very, very good. So I'm going to take that over the bear trap. Mostly because I like the meat grinder. These guys, we still don't have a great way of dealing with them. It is dope to be able to kill them in one hit, though, when the damage buffer's good to go. Not dead, huh? My bad. I don't know, man. I'm still... Oh, no. I don't think you take chances on those guys. There is some arrow drop. Well, sometimes. I looked at them, and I said to myself, Self, are we gonna do this? And the answer was, yes. The answer was, yes, we're gonna do this. And I don't regret it, but I came pretty close. They just do. They do their damage so quickly. It's not even that they do so much damage. It's just the, the cadence of it is so fast. I tried to bear trap through that wall. 
Wouldn't recommend it. Okay, so thankfully we didn't get hit by that projectile. Break the door. Break his life. Don't like being there. We still have one heal. Okay, so it's not even as dire as it might have seemed initially. Initially? <laughs> Brain may actually be broken. Lightning Bolt 3, damage dealt times 2, damage received times 2. It's actually like the exact opposite of the item we need right now. I'm dying to... Well, apparently these enemies, but... Consistently dying to like burst damage against the boss. I would prefer damage dealt... Halved. Damage received. Halved. Not quite the interrupt I was hoping for there. We are going to make it through this section, it seems. Not quite guaranteed. Every room is its own unique puzzle, you know? That's all we got to remember. At least you... Walk backwards onto the spikes. We gotta remember as well, every enemy is as dumb as I am. There's just more of them. See, like that was a little messy. Still alive though. We can't afford to take any HP, any damage I should say, so. Be smart. This could be the door. gonna win it for us you know take us to the boss where you going buddy nowhere is the answer if you answered nowhere please come up to the front for your prize carrot no carrot I want okay well I don't want it that badly you got me this should be our boss fight If we unlock something, we get it. So we could get a sacrificial sword. Inflicts a critical blow if you've been hurt recently. Or the force shield, or both, I guess. But let's go sacrificial sword. Sorry, spiteful sword. I don't really want to get a force shield. Trigger is a force field when you parry. It might be great, but... Pardon me, I'd rather... I'm not even going to unlock this. I'm just going to level up the stuff we've got. So we got this. Sure, it's a little boring, but... Also important right now. So we have that and we have the damage buffer, which we can't adjust right now. We also have the... Well, we're probably going to have a spiteful sword, so let's level it up a little bit. Um, we have an ice bow. And then we'll go for... Uh, you know, keep more of your gold when you die. This seems great. It's like almost 50% better. Wait, it's more than 50% better than our existing sword. Plus, it gives us the benefit of dealing more damage after we've been hit ourselves. And a tendency to get hit a little bit. Plus, we've got um, our damage buff. Incomplete one. Well, you've completely like destroyed my existence. So, don't let yourself get uh, too concerned. You're seeing the game plan here? I know we have a sword. We're not getting any more... Any more ammo for our bow, I guess? I can't even land. Oh, oof, oh, jeez. Careful. You know what? Don't worry about it too much. wonder how long recently is for the purposes of the game. You gotta run, and you gotta heal. Good timing. Could have been worse. You know, the damage buff doesn't last forever, so...
you'll excuse me, I'm taking this time to focus. But he's not getting out of there anytime soon. Well, never mind. What I meant to say is he's getting out of there instantly. That's fine. That's fine. Just roll under it. That's the game plan. I can't believe this is working. I can't believe I can't believe I almost squandered it. We're still fine on HP. Maybe we should be attacking him with our sword right now. I don't know if you can really blame me. For going hard on the ranged attacks. Considering how it's going for us right now and also my previous experience with this boss. Holy crap. Completely fine. No. Yes! Oh. Took us to the brink. No question about it. And yet here we are, moving onwards. The Fug Fjord. Dude. I'm in a new era of existence now. We came real close there. But it it felt right. Sealed 11 minutes ago, huh? Oh, I can feel the excitement. Dude, heavy crossbow. Let's do it up. We even had the ability to respawn after death, which I had forgotten about until that moment. But, I like it better this way anyway. New era. New area. 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 Okay. I don't know what I'm expecting to find here. This is some strong enemies with some cool looking animations. Death Orb. That sounds good. What's going on in here? Well, I doubt all these have items, but that's pretty sweet. Oh, Fire Grenade 6, huh? That seems really good. Now we just need to find a way to light enemies up on the regular. Or we could level up our skill to the point where we can throw a second fire grenade before the first one is actually done. Or before the, the first person is extinguished. The crits, the crits, but also my life, okay. Can't freeze. Uh, an enemy that's on fire. Makes perfect sense, unfortunately. It's not going that badly. Oh, those guys are tough. But I would love a new weapon. Dude, I don't want your stupid carrots. Nah. Your shop is not good enough, my friend. Your shop is not good enough. Don't forget about the damage buff. Ooh! Okay! Good time to heal up. We did get most of our HP back there. Oh, alright. What's that? It's a grenade of some sort. That's my own question. Yeah. 
Oh! <laughs> that guy might be waiting for me when I leave, so... Man, there's like mad shops over. You know what? Let's spend. Phaser. 100% on a burning target. Enemies hit explode upon death. Goodbye, damage booster. You've been amazing. But I gotta try my synergies. The slowdown is when we land a crit due to the spiteful sword, I think. I don't know, this combo's a little underwhelming so far. That was not smart. This is not smart! Somehow we're at full HP after that. Mostly the carrot is my guess. Man, we need some scrolls. And I'm not talking about Mojong's magnum opus of, of the trading card game variety. Oh, that could have killed us. Those guys pack a punch, and if they shoot, they're gonna hurt. That's not how that expression goes, but you know what I mean. Okay, so we want... I mean, I know we're getting skills here, but we really want skills because we want... Um, We want to be able to uh, throw the grenade before, throw a second grenade before enemies from the first grenade are extinguished. Yeah, not, we, we need to recover some HP. That nearly killed me. Blood shield. Time to replace the Ice Bow 1. What have I done? This is the end of our lives. But you know- Oh! That cheated! Let's go. I, I'm just trying to figure out why my defense gets breached every time I block a single attack. Like, does, is it timing? Am I timing it, like, super badly? There's two of them. Yeah, okay. You know what? We lost our blueprints, but I think we can still remain happy with the way that run went. I'm excited to do another Dead Cells run and see how the game changes once you unlock the first boss. Maybe there's, like, a new path that you can take. But for now, we should probably worry about going to the sewers and getting the next rune. For now, though... Good episode. Lots of stuff unlocked. New fights. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Of course, check out Dead Cells on Steam. It's amazing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.